Hello everyone! Welcome back to the Completionist Farm! Unfortunately, we find ourselves right in the heart of winter, which is kind of boring because there's just not a lot to do during winter. What I can do is make it a little bit more exciting by doing yet another giveaway. That's right, another giveaway. So like, subscribe, and the way to enter the contest, just leave a comment on the video. That's all you gotta do. I'll pick the winner in two days. Leave a comment. It's that easy. I have an egg. I'll put that in my egg bin. And in case you guys missed it, there's still a giveaway going on my lightning rod video. So if you haven't entered that, go check that out. Leave a comment there. I'll announce that winner tonight. Now, as soon as I'm done taking care of these stupid animals, I will decide what I want to do with this farm. I need to obviously complete it. I just need to figure out the best way to do that. I'm going to start by milking my cow. All right, little bit of milk. Come here, you. Got it. And one medium milk. You'd think it'd be happy. Maybe it's because I don't have a heater for them. But that's not really worth the investment, at least not yet. All that junk there. Um, the broken CD, that's going to go into the uh, this thing. Recycling machine. Diamond, we're just going to go ahead and sell that. We can give a bunch more gifts to people tonight, so we'll do that at the saloon. Until then, I'm not really sure what I want to do with my day. Winter is so slow in this game that it's really hard to fill the time. We can go see my lovely wife, Leah, who apparently is uninteractable with. Okay, whatever. Hopefully she's not coming back from wherever she went. Well, looking at my journal, there's definitely a few things we could do. Keys challenge, reach 25 in Skull Cavern. That's definitely something we could look into because that's kind of fun. Catch a squid, carving pumpkins. Pam is thirsty. Pam is always thirsty. That's no surprise. Mayor shorts. I have the mayor shorts. I'm not going to give them up yet. We'll do Skull Cavern tomorrow. Hit level 25 because we can. Hopefully it's a good luck day. Either way, I'll make it work. And you know what? In preparation for Skull Cavern, we're going to make some bombs because as it turns out, I have a bunch of iron ore and coal. So, that's easy, put those together, we get bombs somehow. Don't ask how, there's 10, that's all we can make. That's actually going to be a huge boost though. That's probably pretty much 10 floors worth of bombs, depending on how we place those. And that's going to be good enough for today. I'm going to go forage around now, hopefully find something useful. Gotta still find artifacts, I guess, so hopefully I find lots of those, starting on my farm. Already, we have a few. We'll do you, and we got a chicken statue, of which I've already found, because those are actually pretty common. It always seems weird when I find them, but I'm just going to sell it because I think it's worth like 25 gold, something useless. Maybe I'll give it as a gift to someone. wonder if that works. Probably not. There's nothing in the secret woods today but a bunch of annoying blue slime, so that was a waste of time. I did just dig up a elvish jewelry from that spot right there, but I've already found one of those, of course. I was under the impression that was one of the rarer artifacts, but perhaps it's not, being that I've dug up several of them now. Hopefully it's valuable, though. you think being from a race that doesn't exist would make it a little bit more valuable. Looks like Marnie's on the loose today. Good morning, Marnie. Animals are so innocent, so sweet. And if I don't look after them, who will? So innocent and sweet. The polar opposite of what Marnie herself is. I just hope my chickens aren't too upset when I take their eggs. Well, I hope you're not too upset when I marry Mayor Lewis again. We're gonna head to the beach now because I don't know what else to do. Not finding any new artifacts, not finding anything useful. I could check the garbage cans. There goes Jody. And she saw me. Shut up, Jody. No one likes you anyway. That way. Nope, nothing. Running around, I realize that I still don't have my galaxy sword yet, so I obviously haven't found a prismatic shard, so hopefully I'll drum one of those up in the skull caverns tomorrow. Do I have a rusty spoon yet? I don't know why that's an artifact. I could just make one of my own spoons rusty and be like, here you go, museum, it's an artifact. Luckily, all this forging is taking about the right amount of time, so I can pretty much head to the saloon once I finish my loop, give everyone their gifts, and then just sleep for the night and we'll do skull cavern tomorrow. Well, at the very least, we got a bunch of people hanging out outside. I'm going to start by giving them this random crap I found because I'm too lazy to look into what they actually want. She definitely likes that one. Do you like blackberries? Of course you do. Thanks. This looks nice. All right. And old people like clay because they can turn it into interesting stuff. It smells awful. Well, it's a thought that counts. I don't really care what she thinks of me anyway. There's no one else here. Definitely no one here yet. I guess it is a Monday after all. I'm surprised Pam isn't here yet in her typical shift. But you know what? Forget it. I don't want to give people gifts. I'm going to bed. I want to do Skull Cavern. That's it. Actually, I need to go back to the saloon. I'm going to need coffee for tomorrow. I've only got one and that's not enough coffee. Wow, coffee is really expensive when you actually have to buy it. So I'm only going to buy five, six, seven to add to my other coffee and that'll be good enough for one day. Skull Cavern can actually make you quite a bit of money if you find enough good stuff. One prismatic shard is 2000 gold. So I'll find a few of those, which would be quite lucky. I'll make up for the coffee price. Was that Leah down here? I don't know what she's doing out. Maybe she wants some clay. Here you go. I guess everyone has different tastes. You're an artist. Make it into something beautiful. Everything else I'm pretty much just going to sell because I'm starting to get duplicates of things and I might as well just get the money for it. I don't actually need any of this stuff anymore. 
that's actually going to be not bad money. So I'll make some money overnight. Tomorrow I'm going to wake up. The first thing I'm going to do is take care of the animals. And then I'm going to go take Pam's bus to the desert. And yes, that is what it sounds like. Money for today. 1820 plus 750 plus 275 for 2845. That's actually quite a bit of money. How did I make so much? I guess it's all the foraging. I guess it was still early in the week, so everything was reset. So 3000 gold. That's not bad at all. I know this is kind of a useless point now, but let's see what kind of luck we have today. The spirits are in good humor. I think you'll have a little extra luck. There we go. That'll work out just right for me. Now, I gotta go do the animals real quick, and then I gotta go see Pam, because I need to get in her way, so she moves a little bit quicker. Egg. Chicken. Large egg. They're starting to produce. I'm actually gonna sell that and see what it's worth, if I even notice by tomorrow. I'll probably be so overwhelmed. Hey, there's a new artifact with new stuff that I won't even notice. I'm not gonna bother to milk the cow today. I'm just gonna pet it. It needs to think about producing bigger milk anyway, otherwise it's dead to me. Now, because we're limited for time, you actually want to get to Skull Cavern as fast as possible, obviously, and the fastest way to actually do that is to get in Pam's way right here. She'll get disgruntled and charge her way to the bus, moving faster than she's ever moved before. That will save you just a little bit of time, but every bit counts. Okay, the beast is out of her trailer. Simply stand in away for a sec, and look how fast she goes. Almost as fast as my horse, but only about half as smart. So I'll wait till she's all the way there, otherwise I think she slows down again. Don't let her out of your sight. Never knew a garbage can could move so fast. And as she moves into the other area, we've got to do it again because she slows back down. Hurry up, Pam. We don't have all day. And off she goes. 9.20 a.m. I think normally you have to wait till about 10 a.m. to get her moving. So today we're going to be a little bit quicker. Buy a ticket. Off we go. It was 9.30 when we left there. So as soon as I'm there, going to drink a coffee. We'll go straight down. The same thing Pam does after you give her a quarter. I did see an artifact up there in the desert. I'm not really worried about that right now. I can come get artifacts in the desert anytime. Right now it's Skull Cavern time. Steel pickaxe. So all we gotta do is get down 25 levels. I've got lots of coffee. I've got lots of blackberries or grapes. What are they? Blackberries. Right away the fish dragons are after me. That's okay. Gotta watch my health. I still do run the risk of dying pretty easily down here if I get hit enough times because everything down here hurts so bad when it hits you. I might drop a bomb somewhere where there's a cluster of rocks just to try and get this quicker. These floors are kind of bad because one bomb can only remove so many of the rocks on the floor. Oh, we got a ladder anyway. Not a shaft, but we got a ladder. I'm going down, level two. That's pretty quick. 23 more levels to go. Already my health is getting kind of low. I'm actually going to top it up right now because it's only going to take a few hits for something to kill me and that will ruin my day quite quickly. One more bomb. There's a nice cluster of rocks right there. And we need a shaft. A 15 floor shaft would be perfect right now. And I hit myself with the bomb because of course I did. Oh, here's a shaft. Not a shaft, a ladder. And a mushroom. Wow, things are looking up. So far, we're definitely on pace to hit floor 25. Doing this legitimate way, you can get down pretty deep if you do it right. I've gotten, I think, 450, 500 levels. That's if you do everything with the stairs and everything. Definitely not going to get that deep this time, but still going to get a ways down there, hopefully. And time to kill another fish dragon. Look at my health go down. I really got to top that up. If it was a purple mushroom, I'd probably eat that. But the red mushrooms are poisonous. So I give them to gifts as people instead. One more of those down. And we'll put that one right there. That should work out. Come on, big shaft. Nothing. That was kind of bad luck. Oh, well. Uh, we'll leave the slime alone because it's going to take time to mess with. Got to systematically move these rocks. Okay, made it down to floor number five. We have another unlucky layout because the rocks are all spread out. Uh oh, and I'm gonna have to start killing these things or healing pretty quick, otherwise I'm gonna die. Those things do a lot of damage. I forgot too that if you eat something while setting a bomb down, it actually freezes time for a sec, so that's a really good strategy for getting way down places. That way the bombs don't take up any of your precious time. Okay, that's good enough for now. I'm gonna start fighting these things. As long as they're coming straight at me like that, they're not very hard to kill. But if you get two of them coming at different angles, they'll probably kill you pretty quick. Just gonna run straight down. I'm gonna run for most things. Eat another few of these. My health is getting low so quickly. And since we have a nice big cluster of the rocks so close up here, we're gonna set a bomb and actually take damage from it. Because it was too close and I wasn't paying attention. At least we're getting lots of Omni Geodes. Those are full of artifacts and potentially valuable things. I might actually set another bomb right here. We're already on floor number six. Um, no, I'm not going to waste a bomb here. There's not quite enough rocks for my liking. And I might as well smash them all on the way. Otherwise, it'll probably be this one that'll have a ladder by the time I get to the end of the floor. And a nice little cluster of rocks here. So we're going to set a bomb down. Hopefully that thing doesn't kill me. That's going right there. And this thing got to die. 
Uh oh. Oh, that was actually kind of close. One or two more hits and I would have been dead. I really got to keep my health up. I always forget to pay attention to that because normally when I play, I play with mods so I have infinite health and stamina and it's never a problem. Not quite that luxury today. I'm going to top myself right back up. I keep doing it halfway and that's just not going to cut it. Floor number seven still haven't found a single shaft, but this one has lots of rocks clustered together, so I'm really hoping I get lucky right here. Well, at least we got a ladder. The bombs make it so much quicker just to get down even single floors. And I think there'll be some coal in this, so I might as well take that real quick. Not that I need the coal, I just do that out of habit more than anything, to be honest. Okay, more rock clusters, we'll put one there. Maybe a bomb over here too, if that doesn't find anything. Because I have limited bombs, I don't want to set too many bombs down at once because it might be a useless point. There's diamonds over here, so I'll at least blow that up right there. Wow, look at all the mummies. I don't think I've ever seen this many on one floor. And that's actually going to get really annoying because I only have one bomb left and there's a ton of mummies here to annoy me. They don't do a lot of damage, they're just annoyingly hard to actually kill. We'll set a bomb up there in that corner. And that'll be that. Hopefully there's a shaft like right here. That bomb is going there so I can hide over this way. Well, there's a ladder. I'll take that. Potentially now we're one shaft away. If we find a shaft, it'll take us down 15 floors. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to have that luxury. If I find some iron ore, I can make some more bombs, but I don't think that's going to happen. There's not a lot of iron down here. So far, I'm finding a bit of copper and mostly... Well, mostly copper, I guess. A few more quick floors and we're on floor 11. 4.10 p.m. I've got to actually pick up the pace a little bit. I was hoping to be a little bit ahead by now, but unfortunately I haven't found any shafts yet, so that's really actually slowing me down quite a bit. Should have brought more bombs, but I was hoping I'd get at least one shaft for another five floors, and I'd be on floor 16 right now and feeling a lot better about my odds. I'm just going to go away from anything that can kill me right now, because I've got to focus on smashing rocks as quick as possible. If I had more time, I'd be hoeing up the dirt and stuff to see if there's any artifacts down there I need, but... Nope, no time for that. All serious business from here on out. And this floor is about to turn into a complete nightmare because I'm about to be attacked by a million of these things, so I'm going to top up my health and fight them off. Hopefully one of these drops me a ladder or a shaft. I doubt I'll get so lucky, but I'm just going to sit here and fight these off because they'll kill me if I don't. Unfortunately, this is a huge waste of time. Got gotcha. it. Cool. That was really lucky. Okay, going to top up my health just a little bit more and off we go. Floor 12. Really need a shaft right now. And unfortunately, floor 13, whatever this is, is full of monsters and the strong purple slime. So that's going to be annoying. This is going to take a long time to do. I really wish I had 99 rocks right now. This floor might actually kill me, judging by what I'm seeing so far. I'm going to uh, retreat to a corner, being the brave soul that I am, and try and fight everything off. But it's not going to go very well. This floor is probably going to take up way too much time and it might have actually screwed me over. Okay, back to the sword and we'll fight these things. As long as there's not too many of these, I'll be okay, but I have a feeling there's going to be a lot. Which really sucks. It's supposed to be good luck day. Not one shaft was found. Even these slimes really do a lot of damage and there's a ton of them, so this kind of sucks. 730, 740, still on this floor because there's still a million slimes to kill because they take forever. I don't have a galaxy sword. A big thing that would have made another difference it would be an Iridium Pickaxe and the Galaxy Sword for killing things faster and breaking rocks easier. Also, just more bombs. I should have just brought enough bombs to get all the way down there. I was uh, stupid in my preparations though and did no such thing. Whatever the case, there's still a chance, just not a very good one. I've got about 4 or 5 hours to get down another 10 floors. And at least the ladder's on my side for once, now I just need a couple shafts. There's a purple mushroom, there's a ladder. I actually want that purple mushroom because it's so good for my health and energy. Hopefully I don't take more damage and it will give me down the ladder. I'm going to eat that thing right away. Because it is 325 energy, 130 health. And I just realized I have enough rocks to make two staircases, so I'm going to make those right away to go to level 17. Crafting. And staircase right there. First one going there, down we go. Um, I'm actually going to save the next one in case I get on another floor that's really hard or slow to complete. That way I can just skip it. I probably actually had those rocks when I was doing the monster floor. I just wasn't paying attention. So that would have actually been really helpful for me. This floor layout, anytime you see this one, just run straight to the end. There's a ladder at the end. Don't get distracted by all the shiny things along the way if you're trying to go deep. Just keep swimming. Uh-oh, whatever. Slime damage. Keep going. Skip up through there. Down the ladder. Awesome. 
and another one so that's actually kind of lucky i'd rather have a shaft but we'll be on floor 19 only six away from our goal there's some iron ore i'm gonna actually break this in case it gives me enough iron for a bomb definitely not i really shouldn't be wasting time with stuff like this i just can't help it just greedy um this floor is actually kind of big so i'm actually going to make another staircase right here to go down and there we go one more floor floor 20 only five more to go so if i get really lucky and get a shaft it will pretty much get me there no matter how many floors it gives me gotta find one eventually i don't think i've ever done a skull cavern run without getting a shaft but that would be all too fitting when i'm actually trying to go simply 25 floors that i don't make it I just got my first shaft, floor 21, so hopefully this will just get me all the way there. Five levels, there it is, we did it, floor 26. Quest complete. Well, I'm just going to hang out, go a little bit further down now, thanks to that lucky shaft, to see how far down I get. I completed uh, Mr. Key's quest, Mr. Kui, however you want to pronounce that. So, that's one more thing off the list. See if I can hit floor 30 now, maybe I'll get lucky with another shaft. You never know. Stranger things have happened. I have found my first Iridium node, floor 26, it's a single one, how much will it give me? Actually I've already found a bit while I'm down here so I already have 7, this one will give me 8. 8 Iridium. And you know what, it's 11.40, I'm just going to leave the mines now, I'm going to quit while I'm ahead, otherwise I'm liable to do something stupid like die and lose all my progress. Actually I don't think the quest progress will be lost if I do that, but whatever the case. As it tells me, it's getting late, I'm going to harvest a few of these, still didn't get my prismatic shard, but that's not the end of the world. All I wanted was floor 25, and I got it. Just gonna see if there's any more artifacts. Pam's probably long since passed out on the bus. Coconut, why not? While I'm in the desert, I'll gather coconuts. I don't care if I get an energy penalty for tomorrow, because I just don't really have any energy I need right now. Anyways, back to Stardew Valley. Back to Leah. I'll show her the coconut I picked her in the desert. She'll be so proud of me. You know what, while I'm here, I'm gonna gather the rest of these forgeable goods, because they're so valuable to me that one everything's going in the bin pretty much everything i'll have made some money today and then uh the mr key quest is complete actually can i do that in the journal no i guess not i think it's in the mail actually i think the reward's in the mail i'll check that in the morning i'm gonna sell pretty much everything a few things i do want to keep because they will be useful to me along the road mm, i'm gonna keep everything else all right everything's in the bin touch the dog gotta remember to do that once in a while and then Leah's going to get the coconut, mostly because I just don't really want to carry it around. Hey, hope you're not too busy sleeping. Here's a coconut. Really nice gift. Definitely worth waking up for it. 1.20 a.m. The money made for the day. Not too bad. 2,699 gold. So 2,700 gold for running around. I made a profit off the bombs I bought and life is good. Maybe I did make a profit, actually. They were pretty expensive. Or sorry, the coffee. The coffee's what I bought. I remember now. Now, do we have mail from Mr. What's-His-Name? There we go. 10,000 gold. Just like that. 10,000 gold from Mr. Weirdo. Was it worth it? Probably. And I need another favor. Could you smelt an iron bar and bring it to me? Clint. Clint needs an iron bar. We'll take that. But we'll get to that next time. That's going to be it for this. So again, if you want to enter the contest, simply leave a comment. Don't forget to check out the contest on my last video. I'd get on that one quick though if you want to do it. Time's running out. All you got to do, leave a comment, $20 Steam card. Other than that, hope you like this one. Thank you all for watching.